we physicists get get very frequently um, labeled as as arrogant. I suppose is is maybe the the best description because we have a simple reductionistic way of thinking about um, all other sciences and in fact even beyond science. So we think physics is the most fundamental one. And chemistry is nothing but a, but a simple application of the laws of quantum mechanics. And biology and is, biology is, indeed is just, yeah, yeah, uh, right, just yeah, based yeah. on chemistry and, and so this arrow... And, and these, the, the, if you are a theoretical physicist you are smart enough to do this and and probably you could solve all these other problems if you only thought about it. Yes, yes, yeah, that's yeah. right. I mean, probably we should add a footnote, as, as you say, that we can't quite really derive chemistry. Even, yeah. even the simpler parts yeah. of chemistry cannot really be uh, derived properly, um, at best simulated. But if you extrapolate this, if you really view physics as, 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 as the most fundamental, and then fixing all the other, all the other facts in, in the universe, then it becomes really interesting, especially when you get into more and more complicated uh, domains. And, uh, and as I understand, you've argued in one of your lectures that maybe even questions of morality and human ethics could yeah, be seen it, it, in some it, sense. I gave some lecture about mathematical, uh, yes. mathematical ethics at yes. the Hampshire College. Well, you can think of a kind of ethics that is much more uh, universal than hum human ethics. Yeah. And the question that you were asking me about is whether mathematical That's ethics. That's right. Yeah, what? The idea there was that uh, if there is a structure of some sort, a physical structure, or even a, a physical representation of mathematical data, yes. like a bit string or yes. uh, some a book that's printed with some digits in it or some letters, that it could be given a value that would be its mathematical replacement cost. That is, how much, how many steps of computation would be required to reconstruct it from its most concise description, which yes. is like a computerized Occam's razor. So it yes. says everything, if you wanted to say the value of something, first you digitize it into a bit string, and then you say, does this bit string take a lot of mathematical work to make in the pl most plausible way it could have been made. The most plausible way it could have been made is the computation on a universal computer because so all computers are that's a bit like equivalent. Komogorov's idea, right? Yeah, it, the yes, shortest called, yeah. description. You that's take right. the, in fact, it is exactly the, 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 uh, this algorithmic information yes. idea that is the, you identify everything with its shortest, shortest. the shortest computer program, yes. shortest in number of bits, for generating it, and yes. then you don't care how long the it the, takes, it takes yes. because that doesn't make the computer program less plausible. Kolmogorov of complexity uh, or algorithmic information content of a thing is the size of its smallest description. Yes. But then, what the the thing that, that that I had been advocating for quite a long time is that the the amount of intrinsic computational work that this object contains evidence of the plausible amount of computation or dynamics right. that went into making it right. is the execution time of this smallest yes. program. Yes. Or fuzz it up a little bit that you could say it has a, a, a logical depth. Yes. It's deep if there is no, uh, if, if it can, cannot be quickly produced by a program of near minimal size. So any object like that contains evidence of having been the result of a long evolution. And so this is a perfectly well-defined mathematical concept yes. and the kind of uh, in-your-face type of idea that I did as like venturing into a field that is not my own of ethics is to say you should use that as the ethical value uh, of saying the ethical value of anything, whether it's a human or a machine or a book, is the... Uh, amount of computation required to replace it if you had to do it by computing it from its smallest description. And so then that would say if you have two identical books, it has no more replacement cost than one, but the last copy is more valuable. And then you would say, well, why, why do we need seven billion people? You know, isn't that, is that like just having many excessive. copies? Excessive. It's a bit excessive. It's a bit right excessive. Yes. Well, the answer to that is that the, the people are, are, are very different. Yes. And 
maybe you don't need seven million bacteria, billion bacteria, because the bacteria are much more like each other. But, but there is some ethical justification for saying that the seven billion people is 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 much more valuable than than, than one, and maybe seven times more, more seven billion times more valuable. And this is actually an old idea because I think it's in the uh, in the Jerusalem Talmud. It says that he who who saves a single person's life right. has saved an entire universe. Right. So that's the idea that people are so different from each other that, and I guess and it's some so of complicated to to get to that level, basically, that it's as complicated as the whole universe. In some it, sense. It, that, the computation that makes one person is is has a lot of different d different elements to it from what made any other person. So, yes. So that, and a natural objection to this kind of ethics is that it it's, it's, uh, would be uh, it discounts the value of human what life, but it's it, I think it doesn't it doesn't have that criticism. It may have other criticisms, but uh, and and I yes, think I an ethicist would say yeah, yeah, as well, yes. would say that uh, that it scarcely deserves to be called ethics if it's if it's that mathematical, and that it's, it's silly to dis describe ethics as something other than having to do with humans. And yet, science fiction writers and, and, and some of these cosmological thinkers certainly do say, why should we put ourselves on a different plane from, from machines? Yes. Yeah. Yes.